Gospel and Homily for the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Once Jesus was in a certain place praying, and when he had finished, one of his disciples said, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, Say this when you pray. Father, may your name be held holy. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive each one who is in debt to us and do not put us to the test. He also said to them, Suppose one of you has a friend and he goes to him in the middle of the night to say, My friend, lend me three loaves, because a friend of mine on his travels has just arrived at my house and I have nothing to offer him. And the man answers from inside the house, Do not bother me. The door is bolted now and my children and I are in bed. I cannot get up to give it to you. I tell you, if the man does not get up and give it to him for friendship's sake, Persistence will be enough to make him get up and give his friend all he wants. The Gospel of the Lord. Two frogs accidentally fell into a bucket of cream. Every effort they made to climb up the side of the bucket was in vain. They were trapped with no evident means of escape. Now one of the frogs just gave up hope, sank to the bottom and drowned. The other frog, however, was no quitter. He was convinced that there must be a way out and he was determined to find it. He gave it his best shot as he splashed and thrashed round the cream. Imagine his surprise after his relief, after a while, when he found himself sitting on the top of a big lump of butter. He rested there, regained his strength, and leapt out of the bucket. The Gospel today, as you just heard, calls for persistence in prayer. I think it would be very sad if we only prayed to God in times of difficulty or when confronted with a problem and disregarded him for the rest of the time. Prayer should become second nature to us. Normally we don't skip meals, so also no day should go by without raising our minds and hearts to the one who made us, even if it's only for a short period. Saint Teresa used to say that if we are too busy to pray, then we're just simply too busy. The same woman, however, struggled with prayer herself a lot of the time. She used to try and shake the sand through the hourglass to speed things up whilst at prayer, which of course got her nowhere. Some people give up praying when they don't get what they want. Others give up on God when he unexpectedly takes someone close away from them. Some years ago, I did the funeral for my first cousin in Manchester. He lost his wife when she was only in her late thirties, leaving four small children behind. He questioned how a good God could allow this. I got a feeling he didn't go to Mass very much after that. Have we ever been tempted to do the same when our faith in the good God is put to the test? When Jesus was filled with foreboding and fear as his sacred passion was approaching, he didn't abandon ship by turning his back on his Father in heaven. In his anguish, he prayed all the more earnestly, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Now in the spiritual domain, God owes us nothing. We, however, are indebted to him for everything, especially life itself. In one of the Sunday prefaces for the Mass, we say, in him we live and move and have our being. So when we don't seem to get immediately what we pray for, 
God will have better things in store for us if we persist. God doesn't deal with us in an arbitrary fashion. He doesn't play games with us. Anything he does for or with us is for our ultimate salvation. You can pray anywhere before you get out of bed, while waiting for a bus, while walking to work. But just like food is best digested whilst sitting round a table and taking time over it, so also we need to make, take time out each day for more concentrated prayer to make it really worthwhile. Like the frog then, in the opening story, today's message is not to be a quitter when it comes to prayer. It's our lifeline with the Almighty. Thank you now very much for listening and God bless you all.